I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how I'm building a space heater, essentially, that uses cryptocurrency mining to help heat my home. Um, now, this might seem like a kind of a crazy idea, but um, it's actually, I think, a really interesting way to offset heating costs, maybe even generate some profit while heating your house. Um, so the concept is that, um, I mean, first principles, when you're uh, using any kind of an electrical device or really anything that uses energy in your house, all of that energy is ultimately going to turn into heat. So, I mean, in this computer, the action of the uh, graphics card here when it's mining cryptocurrency, the movement of the fan, even the light coming off of this is ultimately going to uh, end up as heat because any of the energy you're taking in is not going to be uh, destroyed, it's going to turn into something, and in, in this case it's waste heat. Um, so as this computer here is mining cryptocurrency, it's throwing off a fair amount of heat. And the exact amount is this is consuming about 110 watts of electricity as it's mining. Um, I've shown in other posts how I'm doing the mining, but it's basically an NVIDIA GPU in there. Um, this is a pretty basic computer build. It's got a fairly efficient power supply down there, platinum power supply, and it's running software in Windows called uh, NiceHash, which basically uh, automates the mining process so you don't have to deal with any of the really detailed stuff there. It's just sort of a one click and it starts doing this cryptocurrency mining operation. And again, it's drawing about 110 watts of power at the wall, 120 volts. And if you calculate 110 watts of power, that's basically about 370 BTUs per hour um, of heat that's going to be generated. So BTUs, as you've probably seen on a space heater or on your furnace, that's a measure of the amount of heat uh, or, or really just energy that's being generated over time. Um, so doesn't seem like a huge amount, but when you think about that this could be running 24 hours a day in my house, it's generating about 9,000 BTUs per day of heat. And for the sake of comparison, um, natural gas heating, which is how my house is normally heated, um, uses a measurement called a therm to talk about the amount of natural gas that's being consumed. And one therm is equal to 100,000 BTUs of, uh, of heat energy. So um, when you consider that this is generating 9,000 per day, and you know, on a, on a given month, I may only use a few therms of natural gas to heat my house, then running this 24 hours a day actually generates a fair amount of heat. Um, and you know, even if I use uh, uh, a little bit less natural gas and it's being offset, by the uh, 9,000 BTUs or thereabouts of energy, of heat energy generated by this cryptocurrency mining space heater each day, um, that's taking a chunk out of the heating costs for the house. Uh, when you also factor in that in order to heat the house using my heat pump, you also have to be running the pump and the fans and everything, and that consumes about 1,000 watts when that system is running. Um, fairly quickly you reach a point where the, the waste heat essentially generated by this cryptocurrency mining computer will actually contribute a nice chunk of my heating needs without having to use the furnace and without having to burn that natural gas. Um, so again, about every probably 10 days this would save essentially a therm of natural gas heating. Um, while also generating some valuable cryptocurrency uh, that has some value on the market. So that's the basic concept. I put this in a main room of my house. It's connected over Wi-Fi. It mines crypto. It generates about uh, 10,000 BTUs per day of usable heat. Um, and the cost of the electricity to generate that is being offset by the value of the cryptocurrencies that are being mined. Um, and in other videos, I'll go into a lot more detail on the actual economics of this, but it's an interesting way, I think, to heat a house while also generating cryptocurrency and taking some of the load off of my heat pump and natural gas heating system. And again, just thinking about 10,000 BTUs of heat energy per day, that's not a trivial amount, especially if you were heating an apartment or a small space or even just using this like a real space heater to heat a room. 
Um, so I'll go into more detail on this concept, but that's the basic idea. Uh, if you found this helpful or you want to know more, please subscribe to my channel.